I'm going to show you guys how you can land more ATM locations by actually advertising online. That way you guys can make some more money. So if we hop on over to my computer here, uh, I already pre-typed this in. And this is just as an example, I typed in lawn care in Washington, D.C. Now, this is important because we want to when someone searches up for a free ATM placement, we want that person, the business owner who's searching that up. We want to be the first one that pops up on Google. So as an example for this lawn care in Washington, D.C., I clicked on this one, the true green. Um, and if you're in any of the top four right here most likely your ad will get clicked on um, so if you go ahead and click on this link which I already clicked on right here this is a sales funnel it's a lead funnel actually and basically what that is is not like a traditional website like I said in my previous video and if you think of a traditional website like Macy's or a store like that there's all different types of things there's you know a checkout button there's a cart button there's all different types of departments there's jewelry there's uh, there's clothes all these different things that people can just go and click on and they get distracted and they don't actually achieve What you want them to achieve and with this page in particular Whoever owns true green they want to make sure that the only thing that this person does when they go goes to that website is to actually get the free quote um, And that's literally the only thing you can do on here. You can't even click on this button on the top left um, and even if you scroll down, all it is is, you know, just some more information and then again, entering your zip code. So that's the entire goal of a sales funnel or a lead funnel is to drive all of the traffic down uh, a series of specific pages that the customer will take only one action, if that makes sense. So the one action that this company wants you to take is to actually get that free quote. Um, and we're kind of going to implement that in our business. And I'll show you that in just a second. Um, but basically what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be placing an ad just like this, like how I have it. And as of right now, it says I'm the first one on this page when you type in ATM placement in Washington, D.C. Um, so this is my my ad up here. And basically, I'm going to show you guys how you can create a sales funnel or a lead funnel and actually go about advertising on Google. So the first thing that we have to do is we actually have to create the lead funnel or the sales funnel. And if you don't already have a ClickFunnels account, that's OK. I have a link down in the description below. And this is actually a template. So if you click on that link, it's going to pull up the template that I already made. All right. So we're over here in my ClickFunnels account right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to funnels. And then I already created the funnel. And like I said, the template is down in the description below. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm actually going to edit the page. Well, I, let me show you guys the page first. So this is what we're going to be creating. Um, and basically what it is, is my logo up here on the top left. It's, you know, just a basic ATM machine. It says free ATM placement. And then it says Washington, D.C. But obviously you guys are going to change this to whatever market you're in. So if you're in San Diego, if you're somewhere in Houston or, or Denver, whatever city that you're in. Um, and I actually recommend doing smaller cities, even counties, um, because you're going to have a lot better engagement that way. And um, it's a lot cheaper as far as the marketing side goes when you're when you're paying for advertising. So all it is here is. Just basically, you know, enter your name and phone number and one of our reps will get back to you um, to see if you qualify for the free ATM. And then there's some more general information here. But the only goal at this page is for somebody to sign up, a business owner in particular, to sign up for an ATM machine that you can go ahead and place in their location. Um, and if you click, you can't even click here on the top left. It doesn't take you to a home page. You know, if you click on the ATM machine, it doesn't enlarge the picture. It doesn't do any of that. Um, and there's no links anywhere else. There's no ads. It's just one straight up page. And the only goal is to sign that person up and it drives them down your funnel. And basically you have a higher conversion when it comes to the people who visit your website and the people who actually either call you or in this case, sign up with their email address. So once they actually sign up, this is the page that it takes them to. It says, thank you. One of our representatives will be reaching that, 
reaching out to you shortly to see if your business qualifies for a free ATM. And then the cool part about this is what you guys can then go ahead and do if you go back into this page right here. If you click on this button, which is the automation button, so I have to go back to the first page. If you go to the automation button from the first page, um, as you can see, I already placed an email in here. So once somebody signs up, you can immediately send them an email. And this email basically says the same thing that was on the thank you page saying, hello, thanks for your interest in your free ATM placement. One of our reps will be reaching out to you shortly to see if you qualify. And the cool part about this is you can actually send them text messages. So as soon as that person signs up and say they text you like, hey, I'm very interested in ATM or whatever, you can send them a message right back asking them questions like where is your business located? Um, how many customers you get a day? And you know, questions like that. And then it can give you a better idea if that location is gonna be a good fit for your ATM. So if we go back to the previous page and say you wanted to edit this template because you know it does have my logo, it does have all of my information on here. All you have to do in order to change the logo is just click here on the top left, click on this and then import your image and then just change it. And then you can always change the size right here to, you know, to see what fits best for this page. You can even change this uh, image right here say you wanted to change it to a uh, Hio Sung or a Gen Mega Onyx you can also do that as well and then same thing with the free ATM placement say if you lived in a market that wasn't Washington DC say Denver all you have to do is just type it and then it changes just like that there's no coding required none of that um, this website is basically designed to be drag and drop so say that we don't even like this button color we can change that as well. We can change it to, let's say yellow. I mean, it doesn't look that good, but you know, we can change it to any color that we want. And ClickFunnels just makes it extremely easy for us to customize a website like that. And you know, we can also change any of this down here, but say we wanted to add, um, say we wanted to make this button a pop-up. So when someone clicks on it, it actually opens up a pop-up. So what we have to do up here is set action and then open and pop up. And then all we have to do is go back and then up here on the top left, click on show pop up. And this is the pop up that I already have set up. Um, and then again, they enter their full name, email address, and then they click to sign up. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. You can customize a lot of different options on here. There's a lot to do. We can even put videos, we can put audio, we can we can do drop down boxes, we can do, you know, billing address, shipping address if that's, you know, necessary. Um, we can also add countdowns if you want to add that sense of urgency. Um, and then I mean there's a lot of stuff to do here. We can add a FAQ, navigation, a progress bar. We can do all of these things inside of ClickFunnels and it, it, they again, they just make it so easy. So once we have that, click on save on the top right hand corner and then go ahead and exit. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're going to take this link and if we you know, copy and paste that, say we open up a new tab, copy and paste, that actually is the link to our, to our ClickFunnels page. So this is very important because this is what we're gonna use um, to sign up for Google and to actually get our advertisement onto Google. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to Google Ads. I'm just gonna do it from the beginning for you guys. So when you sign into Google, this is the page that you're gonna come to. Um, and if you don't have an account, you might have to create an account. Um, and all we're gonna do here is click on new campaign. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do website traffic. And then we're gonna do search if you want it on Google. But if you have a video or if you have um, a picture or anything like that, you can choose any of these other campaigns. But for right now, for Google, we're gonna do the search. And then we're gonna input our business's website. So again, whatever link that you copied, that is gonna be, be the link that we're gonna put into Google. Um, so all of this, you don't have to worry about. The only thing that I would change is the include Google display network. Uh, because as you can see from this picture, it's a ad that pops up on the side of like a video 
or it pops up on another website and that's not really what I'm looking for I'm looking for if somebody types into Google um, I want to be that first one that pops up onto Google so we're scrolling down here and it's United States English is already selected that's fine we're gonna set a budget for this campaign um, I'm probably gonna do anywhere between I would say 10 15 20 dollars starting off per day um, if you don't have that budget you can always drop it down to say five dollars a day but anything lower than that I don't think it's gonna perform and it's not really gonna be worth it in my opinion um, so I'm gonna do it at ten dollars per day um, so that comes out to be about three hundred dollars per month but if I can land one location from this that already pays for the cost of advertising itself and then I can have this thing on automation and I can land location say one a month uh, one the next month one the next month and then you know it kind of has that snowball effect um, so when I set this up I don't want to be checking it all the time I want it to be on autopilot so where the money just comes out of my account and people are still calling my phone they're sending emails to my email and all I have to do is just respond and it doesn't take a whole lot of time everything else um, for conversions um, I just leave it as conversions um, scrolling down you can ignore all of this really and then save and continue now this is very important because this is where your keywords are gonna be so um, if you copy and paste your link and click on update keywords it's going to automatically fill the keywords that Google thinks is best for what you're trying to promote um, but you can see that some of these aren't really what we're promoting uh, for example we're not we don't want to be buy an ATM machine we don't want to be um, not really ATM near me ATM machine for sale that's not the goal here our goal is to find business owners who need free ATMs where we're gonna go and take our ATM place it in their store and we're gonna fill the cash for the ATM that's the goal here and with these keywords we're not gonna be able to achieve that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in ATM placement and then I would say that's fine and then I would also add ATM placement Washington DC and then I want to keep adding a lot of different keywords um, that you think people would search for so if someone might search for free ATM placement or AT free ATM for my business people are going to be searching for that business owners in particular are going to be searching for free ATM for my business and all you want to do is update keywords and then go ahead and replace the keywords because we don't want those old ones now we're probably gonna get an error here from Google saying oh I guess not so Google did accept it um, so I mean they accept everything except for Washington DC so it could be because um, I just saved the website um, so maybe it's because Washington DC um, since I, I believe I changed it to Denver that's why it's not popping up so if I went back and I actually changed it to say Washington DC instead of Denver then it would pop up here on Google uh, I'm not gonna do it just because you know for time's sake but basically all you have to do is just save and continue and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and create our ad so the final URL is fine um, ATM placement free ATM installation service free ATM placement Denver so you guys can customize this and change it to whatever you want I'm not really gonna mess with it right now it's I mean whatever you think is best as far as copywriting goes you can even take my exact script and you can you know copy and paste it you know I'm fine with that I don't have an issue um, so just for you know time's sake I'm just gonna save and continue it says one policy violation extensive capitalization is not allowed in the text so it's probably because we have free capitalized and ATM I don't want to take out of capitalization all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep continuing and basically what's gonna happen now is as you can see right here on the top it says eligible and learning um, and typically what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a review of the actual ad and Google is gonna you know do its thing and they're either going to approve it um, and that typically takes 24 hours or they're gonna flag it which really doesn't happen especially with these campaigns if you have a video that has some kind of material on it like I know 
credit cards and sometimes ATMs are flagged for videos, but as far as text goes, um, it's, it's not really an issue. Um, so I mean, just give it 24 hours, check back on it and it should be active and there should be people clicking on your ads. There should be traffic going to your website. And you know, at the end of the day, the entire goal is to actually get people to, you know, fill this form out and so they can call you and you cannot do this with a traditional website. It's much harder and you're not going to get a lot of conversions. And I mean, that's how I've personally been able to do you know tons of money on click funnels i've been able to do i think to this day um 160 we'll call it 100 195k um in sales on click funnels so i mean this strategy this is literally the exact strategy that i use in my business um and for all of my business actually and again, like I said, if you do not have ClickFunnels and you want to sign up for that free 14 day trial, I do have a link down in the description below and it does have this template right here. Um, you know, I created this template for you guys. That way you don't have any headaches. Um, I created it for you. So I urge you guys to actually take advantage of, you know, what I created. I know this works because I use it for my business and, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys can go out there, land some more locations and start making some of that ATM profit. That's it for this video guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.